Welcome back to another video guys and today we've got a highly requested one which is talking about AGs, managing them, controlling them and kind of how to sort of stick and get the best performance out of using an AG. Now guys I did want to quickly start off this video by actually jumping into something we've already spoke about before but I think it's very important and that is the tactics. We're going to kind of briefly go over it, I'm not going to go through each and every single one, please don't worry but feel free to use the timestamps if you want to jump straight into the next section. So with that being said, guys, I wanted to quickly explain the final part on the command. So if you are commanding an AG, this first tab here will explain to you exactly how you wish to actually perform with your rally. Now, do you want your rally to be a mixture of, say, an infantry and how is? Therefore, you have something to tank with as well as something to attack with do you want to have say some infantry with your tanks for example or your helis now that is something you need to think about i personally love running howie rallies but i also like including my infantry with it because that way i know i've got something to tank with as well as the howies so therefore i run mixed army and what mixed army does is if you have more than one troop type i.e infantry and artillery it's going to give me the bonus benefits but if I was to say have an entire rally of 15 howitzers, I'm no longer going to take advantage of this buff. If I was going to run a rally of just one unit type, and bearing in mind light tanks, helis, and for example MBs, they can all go into one group because they're classed as vehicles. You've got three different categories. You've got artillery, you've got tanks, and you've got infantry. The tanks would be light tanks, medium tanks, heavy tanks, all of the different tanks, including helicopters. Infantry classes as rocket launchers, howitzers, and ATGs. And then finally, you've got infantry. So if you know you're only going to have one type, you should definitely think about getting the mechanized division with the special operations group. But you are someone who's going to be mixing and matching, and you're then going to want to make sure you've got the mixed army group. Now, guys, remember, if you have mixed and you have a all rally of one unit you're gonna lose out on the buff and vice versa if you have it all set to the maxed unit of one group and someone puts one wrong unit in there you're gonna lose out on the buff so i did kind of want to start this video kind of just explaining how the fact that the tactics really does make a big difference when it comes to what type of rally you're running so first things first make sure you've checked that out so basically guys this video is going to be catering to kind of a heli rally with maybe some l's in there mixed also with howies and it's more focused on a howie rally more than anything like so basically teaching you how to protect your howies how to make sure your howies have the best chance available of surviving and how to get the best sort of damage out of them. and this i'm going to kind of explain and talk through some scenarios that i was in with my leader I was running the heli rally i did have some inventory in there so again i still got that benefit of the buff but guys my leader had the howie rally and kind of just showing you guys how we managed to work together with the two rallies the best way to keep both rallies alive as long as possible and not only that guys but i'm going to be showing you mistakes that not only i made but my leader made and then for going to kind of teach you on things you should and you shouldn't be doing so guys please let me know as well down in the comments if you'd like to see any more talking about rallies maybe you want me to talk about how you should be using a light rally or how you should be using maybe mbs and stuff like that please let me know down in the comments if that's something you'd like to see because as i said this is focused on mostly howitzers with what i had at the time was a accompanied by a helicopter rally so guys let's jump straight into the actual rallies themselves and i'm going to be giving you the feedback on performance that we done ourselves so starting off guys i'm basically going to give you the core information and that is working as a team now many of you might be thinking that it's pretty straightforward sort of tactic is working as a team because overall it is a team game but honestly the amount of rallies i see that just go full steam in ahead it's not the way to do it if you are especially the underdog and you're the weaker alliance the best way to try and get the most benefit out of your situation is to try and work an ag of a howie ag and a heli ag now this combo together again it's not going to get you out of every situation but it has a really high chance so if you guys have a howie rally guys what you're going to want to make sure you're doing is your heli rally is sticking 
with your howies at all time there are many times even in my own alliance guys don't get me wrong i have to scream and shout at my alliance members to make sure that whenever they are controlling the heli rally not to go chasing after all of these different rallies they're fighting make sure they are working with the howies staying within very close proximity so that in cases of like this where you've got another rally coming in from behind your howies are always going to be protected because they're the main damage dealers at the end of the day sure the helis can do a lot of damage to other helis and stuff like that and mbs but at the end of the day the core pure damage is going to be coming from those howies especially when sieging bases so guys for example here the best thing i can show you is when it comes to the howie ag you notice how right now i'm this is the furthest away i'll probably ever get in this video from my howies you need to make sure you're staying with them at all times this is going to be crucial now with howies most of you may know this but the howies can't be moving if the howies are moving they can't be attacking they have to be stationary in order to fight so instead of making it so that the howies have to chase you over the battlefield and then they've got to start their four second timer that gives the enemy ags a lot of time to kind of come in do some damage and get out the most priority being as still as possible without them moving and you using your heli rally to sort of jump around them and draw these other rallies in your howies are going to be pre-charged ready to fire instantly and of course the howies actual main benefit comes from their skill damage so as you can see here i'm getting in the way between their rally and the howies in hopes that you know and as you can see here we're just picking them off as they keep coming we just keep picking them off we keep picking them off i see another rally coming i get in between that to stop them coming and it's just a constant making sure that you are always with your rally see i don't chase after them you don't need to be chasing okay guys this is the one priority that i can try and inform anyone when leading a rally another thing as well you notice how we're taking on this base here at all times i'm still keeping an eye on them the moment that base goes down boom i sweep in to try and close the gap between the enemy rally and obviously the howies and then they start to chase and i pull them straight back we don't need to keep chasing if you keep chasing you're gonna end up getting away from those howies those howies are then gonna chase after you and they're gonna be losing out on their main priority which is staying still so the next thing here people dropping in is a very common occurrence especially in these sort of these fights that we're having and as you can see the people dropping in we are trying our hardest to make sure that we're taking care of them as quick as possible so they don't have time to sort of organize themselves so in this next sequence here as you can see we're currently in a fight the moment that base goes down boom i jump over my actual leader here the leader is the one who controlling the howies he's making sure that he's keeping his head on a swivel i'm keeping my head on a swivel and i'm trying to make sure that whenever i'm tanking bases i know what's inside so that at the least possible time i'm always going to be taking the least amount of damage because at the end of the day guys we definitely do not want to be tanking something say with infantry if there's a max level rocket launcher in there so you want to try and put as much protection on that tanking unit now here we kind of are at a difficult stage we're not sure whether to hit the base or not because obviously as you can see here there is a rally right next to us the moment we start hitting they're going to come and attack us and at the same time i'm also noticing that i'm having to keep retraining my howies and then i notice that there is a couple of people here killing our reserves so i type in the chat manny they're killing our reserves maybe we should focus on moving back slowly but surely and in that time this split second of me not i don't want to say not concentrating because i am still concentrating but at the same time look at this the the rally has come my howies are now in desperate danger i've i basically messed up i took way too long to respond but again i was trying to also look out for our best interest but the moment the heli rally comes they start backing away which is good but at the end of the day we've now only got two howies left this is obviously purely my fault i'm not chasing too far i need to get back towards the howies to make sure they're safe but at the same time guys 
as I said, we do want to make sure at all times we're keeping our head on a swivel, whether it be watching your reserves being drained, whether it be enemy AGs coming after you. But as you can see here, I noticed that Manny had killed one of the attacking helicopters. Therefore, we just decided to go for it. We only have two Howies left, but Manny has a pretty strong one and we managed to take this guy out. So the priority right now is making sure that these Howies are at the top priority of keeping them alive and as you can see because of the skill charged already being set we're actually managing to really do a lot of damage to these units that are coming in considering guys i'm not going to exaggerate the alliance we're fighting here is double our power they are so strong they're from server 9 as well they have so much research as well a lot of them have modern tech as well which is kind of crazy most of them have 9.2 air units I'm the biggest air unit in my alliance and I'm only 9.1 and it's not even maxed. So the fact that pretty much all of them have 9.2 air units, they're just so much stronger than us. So we really have to try and, you know, the best possible way is working as a team, making sure your AGs are synchronized and using the best AG tactics as possible. So guys, I just want to quickly mention that I kept making the mistake of retraining my Howies for some reason. I didn't pull them back in it happens guys we're in, in the fog of war you can you know forget what's going on get a little bit lost but at all times guys please try and make sure that you're keeping your head on a swivel you're remembering all these different things that are going on it does take a long time but with that being said guys when it comes to ags you have two different types of ags you've got obviously vehicle ags and then you've got howie ags you don't really see much infantry ags but it, you know i personally have got my tactics set up so that i can actually run two different types of units so i have a howies i normally use howies myself and then i'll have say like an infantry with them that way i can tank with the infantry and then also obviously attacking with the howies so here we are we're going to do a couple of attacks for you and pre-charging your howies guys is crucial um, and i was even telling my alliance about this because they didn't think it was that important but when you have a rally of howitzers guys always try and pre-charge your howitzers and the reason for this guys is because you're gonna get an extra volley off straight away which is gonna be with a full rally of howitzers that's gonna be a decent chunk of hp and then you're instantly gonna be on that two second cycle instead of starting off on four seconds you're hitting straight away then every two to three seconds you're getting another hit in instead of having to wait four seconds before you get your first one so you're just going to be doing a lot more damage as you notice here we start attacking they pre-charge and then instantly we're firing in now if we hadn't pre-charged here we would have lost a lot more units than that but thankfully we managed to obviously drop these down the enemy ag was nowhere to be seen so we managed to just clear this up nice and cleanly now in a minute you are going to see a bit of a mistake from me I do believe at the time, I don't even want, I think I was, my dog was barking or something. I know it's a bad excuse, uh, but my dog was barking like crazy and I had to basically take my eye off the screen for a little bit um, and I kind of get a bit distracted. It's not here, don't worry. Obviously, I do get pretty far from my Howie's there, so it was a bit scary, but it wasn't in this section. You'll, you'll see it very soon. I'll point it out for you. But basically, guys, what we're doing here is we're trying to make sure at all times not to make this mistake either don't tank with your howies as much as you want to be eager to go make sure you're waiting for the uh, tanking units to be initiating the attack otherwise you are going to lose a lot of howitzers so we kind of got lucky there we kind of got lucky there but even the use can't see the chat right now but even man is just like fuck you know he's um he messed up he knows he messed up but it happens it happens to the best of us so as you can see here we're tanking the moment we start tanking guys this rally comes for us, but we can't really give up. We need to provide that tanking support for the Howies. But the moment that base blows up, I tell everyone to come down. But it's at this point where I kind of get a little bit distracted from the dog that I mentioned. And right now, I've clicked on attack rat. But you notice how I'm not moving? My mouse is still... Long story short, I took my eye off. The dog was in the way. And I, you see how I'm really far away from the Howies? Now the Howies have got to move. The Howies have got to do all their moving, and that's bad. You want to, if I had stayed closer to the Howies, 
I wouldn't have lost one I wouldn't have lost as many troops and two the Howies would have just been able to keep getting their volleys of attacks in um, luckily the the rally of the Howies actually had their skill sets like one second away from pre-charging so the moment they got into the action they were just hitting skill shots and you notice here the moment I see a guy fly in I instantly get that rally over the top of him so that he cannot redeploy his base the moment this happens we are then able to take out the base because he can't deploy it because there's too many troops around but with that being said guys i just want to say massive thank you to everyone tuning into today's video please let me know if there is in any way shape or form anything i've missed in this video regarding tactics but honestly guys it's kind of a straightforward video but at the same time i kind of wanted to give you the best tips pointers mistakes i've made mistakes as you can see my leader made with me and just kind of point using the direction if you are leading a rally make sure you are sticking by each other at all costs if you're controlling the howies try not to make them move if you can prevent them from moving you're going to get more attacks in same with the helis the kind of opposite always keep them moving back forth back forth but don't chase Make sure you stay with the Howies at all times. Once again, guys, I want to say a massive thank you to each and every single one of you for tuning into today's video. Hopefully this has helped you. Please let me know down in the comments if there is any videos you would like, whether it be helping you in Warpath, other kind of tips and tricks. And let me know, would you guys like to see an updated officer pairing list in when the next officer comes out? So whenever there's another update with officers, let me know. Would you guys like to see a new and up-to-date officer pairing list? As always, guys, I appreciate you all. Love it each, every single one of you, and hopefully I'll see you all in the next video. Take care, guys.